squid. Yeah, our friends, uh, I'm sorry, I'm standing in the shadow of the light. The light's behind me, so I'm shadowing this. But yeah, our friend, uh, his father is the, is just like a squid distributor. And uh, they just uh, messaged us that they got a bunch of squid in. And would we like some? And we said, sure, if it's big squid. And they go, oh yeah, we got some big ones. And these are the big ones. This is one what we would call small. This is actually a pretty nice size squid here, but these are like the big boys here. These, look how huge these things are. Look at my hand. Bigger than my hand. So anyway, I'm going to clean these bad boys up and make a bunch of... Uh, that's my wife's hand. She's as big as a small one. So we're going to clean these bad boys up and uh, probably cook some squid pretty dang soon, but... Uh, Right now we got to clean them, and uh, after that we'll decide uh, and clean them and bag them. We we put bags, you know, we label the bags with the date and S for squid, of course. Uh, C would be for cuttlefish because they're very similar to squid, and to me they taste exactly the same, but they cost about half as much. So, you know, cuttlefish is a much better deal than uh, squid is. Uh, on Matayan Island, so these these were two fifty per kilo, yeah. and we got four kilos, so that's uh, eight pounds roughly. But they actually gave us four and a half. They're kind of our friends, so they threw in a, I guess that one there just is a little icing on the cake. So anyway, we're gonna clean these bad boys up, and we'll be back with more squid. It's going in the freezer, but <laughs> I'd like to do like a like a cooking thing, but uh, we really, uh, it's it's late in the evening, so we're not going to stay up and cook all these. But yeah, these, these guys got ink too. Do you see that ink coming out of it, that black stuff there? Yeah, that's ink. And Filipinos like that. They actually make, uh, they cook the squid in the ink, and they uh, eat it with with it the ink and you can always tell the ones that have because their teeth are all black uh, until they <laughs> drink something and wash off doesn't stain your teeth but uh, everything your lips and everything turn black so anyway we're uh, going to clean them and we're going to throw them on some ice too keep them nice and cold uh, and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island I'll actually show you how to clean one as soon as we get all these back on ice and then I'll grab one and uh, clean it maybe I'll start with a small one because that's uh, kind of the easiest one to clean and we can do that on video and then you'll uh, know how to clean squid if you ever have to so we will be back with some squid cleaning bye for now hey everybody it's a squid fest and uh, we're gonna clean this squid here so I'm gonna show you how to clean this one I'm starting out with the small one they've got two tentacle here these are like their little grabbers that they reach out kind of a long ways and grab stuff with they've got little circular things on here you can't really see them but on the larger ones I um, they're just round disc with little claw like things so they can grab stuff and it won't let, let it go and of course you have the eyes uh, in the center here of all of these little tentacle things you have their beak and you want to get that out of there probably first so you just kind of push in and out and it looks like a bird's beak here and maybe this isn't the best time to get this thing out but uh, just get in there under there with your thumb and just basically rip it out rip out the beak okay well, this is the beak and again it really literally is a beak and it looks like a bird's beak and um, well, you're gonna be able to see this one on the larger one I I do but it looks exactly like a bird's beak and that's what they, they you know chop up their prey with so the first thing that you do uh, see the membrane in here I don't know if you can see see that but it's connected the top of the squid is connected to the top of their shell and with your thumb or finger you can just push that membrane down like that and uh, that pretty much separates the squid and then you pull it and the uh, guts come out just as simple as that now I'd rinse these out so most of their guts were out 
I mean, it, it was relatively clean. Then you're left with the shell with the little fin things on the side. These are the fins. Some people don't eat these fins, but I do. They're a little tougher, but nothing wrong with that. Uh, but in the, the top here, you want to press this back. And when you do, did you hear that? You'll pull out the clear piece of like cartilage. You see that? It's like plastic. This is like their backbone here. So once you've done that, you pretty much got everything out of here except for whatever little guts there may be left in there. And there's a few. Uh, some people turn these, uh, uh, yeah, just kind of reach in here and you'll feel the soft tissue and that's what you want to pull out completely. See, there's a part of the uh, ink bladder and uh, I'm just going to rinse this out some. The, just, see, if you stick your hand in there, you'll get little pieces of their stomach and what have you, whatever didn't come out with this part. And just keep doing that until there's nothing in there except for the meat around the outside. Uh, the other thing you can do too that some people do and some don't do, the, this color, see this color here, that's actually a membrane. And there you go, see I just kind of pinched it off with my thumb and then you just peel it off like that. If you don't want to eat that, and again, here in you know, the Philippines, everybody, all the natives eat that. In fact, they, they just throw the whole thing into a fire, pretty much, uh, if they're going to grill it. And <laughs> I don't even know if they pull out the guts. They might. I don't know. I'm not. But I uh, don't mind a, a little food prep. And I... Oh, fillet all of my fish too. So you know, it takes a little bit more time. But see, I just took my thumbnail basically and just tore that membrane off. It comes off relatively easily most of the time. This one's coming off nicely. Uh, some of them do, some of them don't. But this one is just easy to peel. See that? Just like peeling tape off, basically of of. Uh, whatever you put tape on <laughs> and so and you don't have to get all the membrane off you don't have to do like a perfect job but basically that's pretty good right here let me get this piece off here like that and I don't think the membrane has any flavor to it I mean it could have some but um, basically I just peel it, peel it all off Give it a little quick rinse like that. Uh, you can turn this inside out. Smaller ones are more difficult than the big ones, but uh, you kind of have to, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually do this. Uh, oh, also, the other thing that you can do is pull these wings off. You see how I just put my thumb under it, and off comes a wing, and that's edible. And this side too, you come from the underside. This is the top, once again. Come from the underside and just reach under there and you'll see that wing will pull off. It's about twice as big as you thought it was because the top part of the wing is connected to the top of the bond, you see. But there's another piece. Uh, and then you're pretty much ready to, uh, if you want squid rings, basically for calamari cut it like that those are your squid rings right there so we're going to do the smaller one in squid rings the bigger ones we probably won't do squid rings because they're like as big as a grapefruit or a lot larger and there's no need to i mean it just see now that popped out a little bit of the stomach and stuff uh, when I got down to the end. That's why you turn them inside out. Uh, you can really clean them out good, but um, that was about it. Uh, there's nothing really nasty inside of here unless you break the ink bag. Now these ink bags were already broken when we got them, so I just kind of rinsed them out and dumped the ink down the drain. 
But basically, here it is the first set of squid rings. So I'm going to cut this here. back part off right here. Right there. And to be honest with you, there's nothing inedible in that. This may be, uh, that may be some eggs there. Well, I don't know if it's eggs or not, but it's something. But this is kind of peeling off the membrane here. Getting that out of there. You'll feel it. It's softer than the rest, and then the rest of this is just squid meat. So, uh, you can fry that up, and that'll be a nice little crispy thing. Uh, now you're down to the tentacles and, and the head. Um... I don't eat the eyeballs in that, so I come in right before the eyeballs and cut that off. And again, there's nothing wrong with eating any of this part here. But right behind this little last piece of meat, it's mostly eyeball here. This is the uh, jet thruster thing here. This is where they uh, propel themselves. There's a propulsion. They suck water in, and then they jet it back out. And this is their jet it looks like a mouth but it's not their mouth it's just with their jet propulsion and that's a little squid ring there now we've got these guys i like to clean these off right here these little rings off here because they are hard they're like little uh hard things uh and i don't like to eat them but i'll be i don't know if you can see them there's do you see these little white things on my hand, you'll feel them. They're kind of like a little, you know, a little crusty feeling thing, almost like sand. <laughs> but those are their little grippers. So we clean all those off. Normally I'll let my wife do that because she's got hands that uh, do that very well. And then you can take this one here because if you're frying it with flour, uh, this turns into a bunch of real little crispy bites, and that's just like a little squid flour thing, and it's really good. And you can cut these off here, um, and then uh, cook these separately. And these have got more of the little grabber things. Um, here we go. This knife is kind of maybe gets them off because uh, I, I mean I guess you could eat them. <laughs> I don't know if they'd stick in your stomach or what, but I, I don't think they do. But still, I'm getting them off, basically like that. And then you can feel they're all, they're all soft uh, once they're all gone, once all the little grabber things are gone. And they do grab. I, I mean, when you get a big one and you put anything on that, it'll grab it. I mean, I, I mean it'll, it, it, it will stick to that. It's got... You know, just little tiny microscopic like claws. Okay, I, you saw me clean this one here, and basically, I got it all. It's done. So, if you use your knife and just slide down where the larger tentacles are, it's pretty quick. And uh, you'll see them kind of separating off on the side, and you can just kind of use your knife to just slice that little line where they all slide off to the side, and then you're done, like that, voila, done deal, and there's another little tentacle to fry up, these are good for frying, obviously they're kind of small for the grill, but I mean you could conceivably put them on the grill, okay, so I'm going to uh, let my wife deal with these, doing the little detail work and I'm going to start on the next one again here's your eyes and your head and uh, there's not much here there's a little piece of meat here right here and right here I mean you could pull that off and eat it if you wanted to other than that there's uh, some like cartilage stuff and eyeballs so not not much else for you to eat so that's how you clean squid just like that and uh, I'm going to do a bigger one next, so uh, I'll show you that one, and then we'll be back with more from Clean and Squid on Battalion Island. Bye for now. Back. And I want to show you too, the other thing we do, we take uh, ice 
and all the stuff that we've got cleaned, uh, we put it on ice like this so it stays fresh. Because I've got four kilos of this stuff to clean. I got six of these squid to clean, and I want them to stay cold all the time, and they'll stay fresh and really taste good. Uh, but cold fish is fresh fish, so always uh, put your fish on ice. Yeah, as you're cleaning it, uh, as you notice over here in these uh, pans, we've got these also on ice. Just see, we got these little tubes of ice that we make, and we keep the, them cold while we're cleaning them. So I'm going to start on the next guy. I'm going to pick a big boy here, and you can see him. Ah, you like that coming at you when you're uh, swimming. Yeah, now here you can see the larger rings. See those? Those are actually little like uh almost like a uh, bone uh rings and they uh they're just real grabby i mean they'll grab anything that they touch and so that's how they uh, grab hold of their prey is with these things here so these ones especially these big ones i always clean these off real, real good but i'm gonna start on this big boy here and uh then uh, we'll be back all right, buddy. I was going to show you too. You, you know, the big ones you don't cut in rings, or I don't cut into rings because they're gigantic rings. Um, and what I do is I take them once I've got them cleaned, uh, and I have this little tube, the squid tube. I just slice it down the center of the top here, and open it up, and then uh, I just slice across here and make squ uh, squid you know, strips. Now I'm going to cut these again, but my initial cut is this way here and uh, then we can you can fry these or stir fry these uh, however you prefer and uh, then once I get them like that then I, uh, I'm trying to stay out of the shadow of the light too I basically go down and cut them off like that and then another one like this and then I then you can fry up some calamari strips I like that and you're done so I just want to show you that about what you do with the bigger ones and you can see that's a nice thick piece of meat there nice thick piece of meat see that those are good those are good chunks of squid for uh, whatever you want so anyway just want to show you that and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island we're cleaning squid tonight Bye for now. All right. Well, I also want to show you uh, one more thing. This is on the, well, I, and I got one more after, after this. This is off of the big squid here. These are his grabber ones, and my wife has already cleaned the little uh, grabbers off of here. Uh, so what I do after she's got all that cleaned off, I just uh, lay them down and then just, like, slice those guys. And those are nice, big uh, grabbers to fry up. And then, because this is so big and long, I'm gonna cut up these guys again here and make all of these tentacles here about the same length. But because this is a big chunk to fry, I'm actually gonna cut this into like three tentacles there and, and fry it. And the same over here, cut uh, three. Like that, that'll be nice and fry, nice and crispy. And then this guy is just going to be two because it doesn't. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll have one big one and uh, two. <coughs> so basically, that is how I kind of part them out.